Hello there, Internet. So, um, making a video today to sort of talk about uh, why I've been gone for, you know, three months, if anyone was really wondering or whatever. Um, and then to sort of talk about uh, how I'm moving forward with both this channel and the videos that I do and my blog. Um, and just a couple other things probably as well. I'm sure I'll go off on a couple of tangents. But having said all that, um, if you notice, I have not made a new video in over three months. <laughs> um, there's a number of reasons for that. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I, I'm a pretty busy guy. <laughs> I own and operate three companies. Um, one of them is a game development, a small uh, uh, a game development studio. And then the other two we do bunch of stuff like cyber security, cyber forensics, fraud investigation, bunch of stuff. Um, on top of that, I'm also an adjunct professor uh, in game design and I do some uh, some work for Junior Achievement, some part-time work for Junior Achievement. Um, if you're familiar with that organization, they're a great organization. Um, and then I co-founded co -founded a nonprofit for game development advocacy. We run an annual de dev conference every year here at Wisconsin. And then I also do, um, I also do, uh, uh, I run an area at a um, local games show called Newest Gaming Classic. There's an area called Future Classics where, we sh where game developers of all shapes and sizes can come and show off their stuff. And I, I run that uh, uh, space, the, the Future Classic space as well. There's some other stuff that's less important to what we're talking about here today. But... All of that said, that, that'll sort of lay some of the context and backdrop for why I've been absent for a while. Um, so backing up before that, uh, at the beginning of the year, we had a cancer scare with our dog. Um, and uh, luckily she's doing, or she's, um, it, it, it seems out of the woods. I mean, with that sort of stuff, you never really know, but... Um, all the signs indicate that she's out of the woods. I mean, she still is a senior dog, so we've been having other issues with her that's been taking up some of my time. Um, but we didn't get answers. Like, we found out about this in January, and we didn't get answers until, like, mid-April as to what the, the prognosis was. So part of that is why I've been gone. Um, it's been a lot of extra care for her. But having said that, um, around that time is also at the beginning of April is also when Newest Gaming Classic happens. So given how much work it takes to run that that space, the future classic space, um, that took up a lot of my time, just being real. Uh, luckily, some of our work in some of our other areas, some of the, the contract work and stuff has died down. So I was able to deal with that in an appropriate manner. But Bottom line is MGC uh, it takes up a lot of my time for a good like two or three months. And this year, because of uh, how much we've grown in the space, um, it took up time after the show as well. Uh, in fact, I'm still dealing with some some follow up stuff from the show now in June, you know, three months, uh, you know, three months afterwards, essentially. Um, so. Having said all that, that, that's part of the reason. <laughs> Just time. Um, time and family emergencies and stuff like that. Um, the other part of it is uh, I, and I'll, I'll be doing probably a video on this at some point, but I've, I've been a Framework laptop user for some time. And when Framework announced their 16 laptop, 16-incher, um, I did pre-order that. I got my, my Framework 16 around that time. So it fundamentally altered um, how I was doing things um, because I also decided in my infinite wisdom, right, uh, that I was going to end up getting, um, sort of redoing my uh, uh, tech stack. I've gotten some comments from people about, um, oh, some of your videos look choppy and stuff, and that's a fair argument because I was using a different desktop or really a NUC, technically, a, 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 an Intel um, Crimson Canyon, I think it is, or Serpent Canyon, I don't know. It was one of the last NUCs that Intel did, the, the NUC Extremes. But I was using that and doing just pure software uh, recording. And 
Um, given a number of factors of that, that started to make things look choppy and crappy. So I decided, I'm like, okay, well, now's a good time to do upgrades. And since I got the new laptop um, and I'm going to be doing most things, but not everything with that, um, I should get a capture card, a proper capture card. And I did, and it, and, and it was garbage. <laughs> So I did a couple more and they were also garbage. So I'm actually still trying to find a good capture card that does what I need it to, how I need it to. And then part of my problem is I'm running the laptop through Thunderbolt um, to a hub and it's just, it's, it's causing problems. So I may have to relook at that, but the bottom line is I was hoping to have all that solved so I could get better video quality, less chop, and better audio quality across the board, because I also bought uh, one of these guys too, which I have not set up and cracked open yet because of, you know, life. Um, and the fact that the capture card stuff just was not working. So anyways, point is, um, I was hoping to have all that stuff done before I started to do videos and you know, months went by and um, people started to ask. <laughs> you know, friends who watch my channel were like, hey, I haven't done a video in a while. What's going on? I had a couple people DM me as well. But anyways, um, I am going to start doing videos more frequently. I'm going to have to go back to software recording, unfortunately, which which sucks because there's a inherent drop in quality that happens with that. But it is what it is. Until I can figure out a proper capture card thing, it, it just is what it is. Um, I am going to do a video at some point here in the near future on the Framework 16, which is that way, and comparing it to my long-term use of the Framework 13, and just go over sort of an overview on Framework in general, because they are a great company that I, I think probably are the future of laptops and, and computing but um i'll save that for that the other thing i want to talk about though is um i am going to be streamlining how i do reviews i think moving forward um how i've done it traditionally is i have a blog and then i have my youtube channel and i do for like every single dev asset review i have both a video and a written review and what I found is that the written review for a lot of these art asset reviews are just not good. You know, I go into a lot more detail and the value on like the product itself is just better in a video review and the written review just is not good. Um, so moving forward for anything that is a uh, definitely an art asset um, that includes like probably shaders and textures and stuff like that. Or if it's a template asset, I'd say in most cases, um, I'm just going to do a video review. In fact, I'm going to be removing all of my old written reviews that are like just art assets because they're just not, not good. What I found doing the, vi doing the, the review for Script Inspector 3, which I have, I've had a written review up on my blog for some time on that. And I kept trying to do a video on it. And what I kept finding is that it's just not, useful like i can talk at the camera a lot but there's not a lot of visuals so it's one of those things where i think written uh, like there are some assets where a written review is going to be more valuable and i will do those i'm going to keep the script inspector one up i've got a couple of other tools that are i, I think are just going to be probably exclusively written reviews um stuff that just doesn't show well on camera those are going to be exclusively video reviews uh, sorry, exclusively written reviews, rather. And then stuff that does show well on camera, I'm going to continue to do video reviews and just not do a written review unless there's some, like, like real, real reason to do so, which may happen. There may be, like, a template that I do a review on that, um, you know, is works well with the written and video review. But I think that, that the value proposition for the written reviews on a lot of these things, for, for the art assets and stuff, just are not there. So I'm going to be get, uh, stopping doing that. I'm going to be calling out those ones, and, and I'm going to be streamlining my blog, I think. I have a bunch of just kind of opinions and a little bit of garbage in there that I'm just going to get rid of because it's not helping anyone. And the point of 
you know, my blog <laughs> was essentially to provide resources and help for people who need or want it. Um, so I'm going to be scaling back some of that too. I'm going to keep my, like, I have a, um, a startup playbook that I've been essentially has been a living like book for quote unquote for some time now. Um, I'm going to leave that up there. I'm going to leave, I, I ended up making my not nonprofit like cheat sheet guide, um, public on there because <coughs> there's some board members on my nonprofit that just weren't getting it. So I made that public. A lot of those are going to be living documents. So if you look at it once, check it again later on because I will update it as I have time. It's just, I don't have a lot of time and I've got, you know, hundreds of hours of backlog, just shit I have to deal with. And, um, so, uh, but that's sort of how things are going to move forward. I think I'm going to try to make, uh, make sure I'm doing at least one or two videos a week. I'm going to try to try to make sure I do at least one video a week. Um, there may be emergencies where I just can't do that, um, or I may be out of town where I just can't do that, or whatever the case is. There may be times when I can't do that, but I'm gonna at least try to do a minimum of one video a week. I'm gonna try to do more, because I've got, I mean, I don't even know at this point, I've got tens of thousands, if not more, uh, clear filters, how many do I have here? Yeah, I've got, something like 60,000 assets on the Unity Asset Store. So uh, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna have to crank that up at some point. But um, yeah, uh, just that's sort of an update on where things are and why I've been gone for so long and sort of where I plan to take things. Um, I did just record uh, a review for, do, 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 what is it here? for a fresh can 3d asset that i'm going to be editing and hopefully i'll be able to get that up soon but um yeah that's just where we stand uh and um i'm sorry i've been gone for people who actually give a shit you know um you know life happens sometimes but i am gonna like i said try to try to do better moving forward and try to um try to do more moving forward and and uh make sure that i'm, I'm getting content out because i've had a decent number of new subscribers and stuff and i i do want to keep that that cadence going if I, if people find value in what i'm doing so um yeah uh if you have questions or anything let me know in the comments and i will see everyone later